What's going on guys, Captain Johnny today. We're out of my home, we're going out of my home inlet right now, Hillsborough Inlet, as you can see the lighthouse behind me. We're gonna do some fishing with uh, Land Shark Outdoors, who's actually holding the camera for me. And we got a great video coming for you. Hope you guys enjoy. So one thing I forget to mention here is, being that I'm new to YouTube, is we're gonna pull out of Hillsborough Inlet and make about a six mile run to the north to the next inlet in Boca Raton, Florida, known as Boca Inlet. Boca Inlet this time of the year is loaded with these nice sized pilchards for bait. Pilchards are just a little white bait with some big scales on them. They make a great bait, they're very hardy, and we're gonna use a sabiki rig to try and catch these baits. See why spot lock is so nice? Let me see if I can get them on this, they're big enough. Oh yeah, I'm in them. For those of you that don't know what a sabiki rig is, it's a rig that's about six or eight hooks long, and you send it down to the bottom, and these little pilchards think it's either plankton or you know little tiny things floating in the water, so they eat them, and that's how you catch your bait. Oh, you lost them, Johnny. I lost them. Well, we're loading up on some pilchards. The weight's too heavy. Right here in front of you. I think this weight's just a tad on the heavy side for them. The benefit of having the benefit of having spot lock right now is really paying off. We can both fish and catch baits and you know. Oh, they're literally. Oh my god, there's so many of them right there. I like to leave my sabiki out there for a little while and try to get as many on as possible. And then we only come up with one and it's gone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they're moving fast. They're all they're over there now. One's better than none, right in the box. Don't you love it when they just organically do that? Yes. It's it's the most beautiful. <laughs> it's when a beautiful they just thing. Jump into the well. Yeah. This is pretty easy. Right now, the bait are really perfect size. Um, I've been seeing them in Boca Lake because I go there on the weekend sometimes. Um, these are like the wow. most perfect, perfect size pilchards ever. I don't know. It'll wow. slip. Beautiful. Awesome. Sometimes you gotta use a D hooker. I think it's easier. Sometimes they fall off just like that one on the floor did. And sometimes they all don't go in the well together. And sometimes your bait boy puts them in the well for you. How about that? I'm excited, dude. Yeah. I love kudas. Growing up on the pier, Jetty's doing this. Oh yeah. It's a game fish for you. He's right there, look. look. Oh my god. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yep, Johnny's got one on his bait right there. He's gonna eat it right, yeah, right, right there, right there. Smoke it. Smoked it. Is that on the circle or the wire? On the circle. Oh, he just ate mine right there too. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, spit it. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Look at that. That's why people are afraid of bear cubes right there. Look at that. Imagine that you're, that's your finger or your leg. Wow. It looks like there's more than one here. That one will eat again. Yeah. Oh, he just did. He just did. He just did. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. Yeah. He's underneath it though. Oh, he's going to eat it. And. Yeah, he's coming up. He's 
Barracudas want a fast swimming day. If I get anything bigger than a small jack, I'm just... Oh, I'm on. Dude, he came all the way over here. Are you kidding? Let me get let me get us around. Oh, I see where you're at. Oh, it's a big cuda. I'm gonna lean up on the piling. Just let it touch. I'll hand it to you, I'll hand it to you. I got you. Oh, mine's eight, mine's eight, mine's eight. He's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. He's out. Oh, I gotta drive the boat too. <laughs> In, in neutral, I'm in neutral. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and people say that catching barracudas. Oh, on the 1K! <laughs> Dude, there's nothing not fun about it. Oh! Look at it. <laughs> That's a <laughs> big old cuda. Quite equivalent to snook. Nice, I got one too. Oh, I'm broke oh. off. That's fine, I gotta drive the boat anyway. He actually spit it, he didn't even break it. I can't believe we got that one over the piling, thank you. Let me get the net out for that guy. Just cause, you know? Um, I can grab him. I don't mind grabbing him. I don't know All if right. he's gonna he's gonna put a hole in your net, I think. I mean I grabbed a much bigger boat side. He'll fit, no problem. Sure? Yes. And he will not fit. Yeah. I got it. Don't drop. You got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Yeah, they can be annoying. Hell yeah, brother. Nice. Thanks, Johnny. That's that's our eater right there. That's dinner right there, son. Oh yeah. I mean, wow, that was sick. Wasn't it? Are you filming it? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's just, it's like I said, I don't care what I'm catching. Peacock bass, cloud knife fish, swordfish. It don't matter. As long as it's pulling, I'm having a good time. This is gonna be the perfect eater size barracuda too. Good fish. One thing I will say, the reason people don't like these and call them a trash fish, they smell really bad when you catch them. But when you clean them, that smell goes away. See the blue runner right there on top? Oh yeah. Yep, yep, he's getting Oh yeah, 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 yep. yeah. I have him. Oh yeah, we got him. All right. Yeah, we do. He was just being super lazy. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, I want you to see the size of this cuda compared to the bait we put out. Dude, they can... They can do some damage, can't they? Yeah. The blue runner was huge. Yeah, the, the blue runner was half the size of the cuda. Uh-huh. This cuda is about the same size as the one I caught on the little spinner. Yep. Forever. Well, there's our second dinner. There you go. I'm going to flip them in the back of the boat. Alright. You want me to open the box and flip them in the box? Yeah, sure. We know he's hooked good. He's got a big old treble hook in his mouth. He's got the single hook and the treble hook. Oh no, he's got the treble hook in him, and now the, the single hook in his back. You see that? Oh yeah. There we go. Welcome okay. home, buddy. You're gonna be. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna here, be let, me kitchen soon. let me close the box there. That was a little anticlimactic. I thought we were gonna have a giant on it. He took forever to eat. 
and I didn't know whether or not to set the hook. He was just sitting there on top. That blue runner was like this big. He was probably a pound. That barracuda is probably six. He just ate a sixth of his body weight, just like that. <laughs> And so did the camera. So did you guys at home. All right, let's see if I can't catch one more here. You did, you did, didn't you? I did, I foul hooked it. That's why he's fighting so good. I thought he was way bigger than he is. Look at that. Bring them right here and get them off and back in the water. That's a cutie. These are a cutie, yes. Just, I'm just gonna hold them right over. Just oh, here, let me hold them up for you guys so you can see. Just a little barracuda. He's really not worth anything to me um, for food quality anyway. He's just too small. I won't get any meat off of him. But it's cool to see how he must have charged my bait really hard and missed. Oh, there he goes. Um, so. There you have it. We're gonna put it back in the water and do it again, try to get a bigger one. Eight, 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 eight. All right, so just hooked up on another little nice cooter here. That one's actually hooked in the mouth. Here he comes. Make those little runs like that. Not a bad looking fish. If well, only we have these in Lake Ida, huh? Jumping. <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> All right, we'll get this one on the boat. And show you guys their mouths. They have a pretty crazy mouth, a lot of teeth. Oh, nice, the circle hook got him. Yeah, finally, the circle hook worked to my advantage for one. So these guys, you wanna be really, really, really careful. They've got some really gnarly teeth. I usually grab them under the gill, just like that, and just like that. Pretty crazy, you can see their mouth like that. Yeah, not bad. Predator fish, number one. Um, Number one predator fish that everybody catches if you go on a charter boat here. There you go. Take the hook out. I'm gonna grab my pliers because- There's some right there. His teeth. Here. Oh. And there you go, he pulled right <laughs> off. Hook pulled right out, we call that a Palm Beach release. All right guys, we're back on land. Victor just cleaned my boat for me. Thank you very much, Victor. You'll find out. You'll find out why if you watch this video. <laughs> we uh, we had a bunch of fun. We caught a bunch of kudas. We got a couple double ups. A um, couple really nice eyes that we're gonna have for dinner. And uh, I will be cooking dinner for Johnny. It's the least I can do. He treats me so well. He washes my boat. He cooks me food. Not only any food. I cook you barracuda. Exactly. A real delicacy. That's right. That's well, right. he's about to find out. You're going to be a first-time barracuda. I've never tried it. There's a lot of hype towards it, so we're going to give it a shot. 